The final bell rings and you're just in time You want to jump on the bus and I take a ride It's time to relax and watch a show or two Then you'll realize you got homework to do Now the pencils are down, your brain's about to blow You gotta chill out, there's just one place to go You just click play, it's that theme song you know You finally hear it's the after school show Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Welcome to the After School Show. Hey everybody, greetings this Thursday on the After School Show. Man, I am happy to see people are already answering the question we put on Facebook. Oh. Asked a couple questions. I said, have you ever eaten anything really gross? Or what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? And have you ever tricked somebody into eating something gross. Now why did I ask that? Because on today's show, uh, we're eating boogers? We're gonna spin the prize wheel and I have a really cool old school video of the day. You're gonna wanna stick around for that. All right, well we already have a ton of comments. Yeah, some people have said tripe, yes. okra, Dorothy, I'm with you on okra. Mm, and oh, I'm from now, the South. Listen to this. A live goldfish. Oh no, Adrian, did you eat a live goldfish or trick somebody into it? All right, well, before we get into that, <laughs> remember That's you can follow us, follow us on Instagram at After School Show. Cool place to check us out. We have cool videos and pictures, and be sure to uh, give us your information so we can send you some cool stuff there. And you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash life of dad. All right, I don't oh, want to miss this one Joe. because somebody says, Read what Joe said, Melina. I've eaten a cockroach and drank King Cobra blood. Ew. Uh, sounds like somebody's been overseas. Yep. Um, <laughs> Whoa, I want to try that, Joe. Francis says he's a mechanic and he eats lunch with dirty hands all the time. Uh, you ate a tarantula, AJ? All right. Well, real quick, tell oh. everybody what you did today because it's super cool. I So I went to the Jefferson lab. Now, Jefferson Lab, for people that don't know our area, is a, a collider. You know, like the big collider they have in Europe where they like start ramming atoms and stuff into each other and try to explode them and do oh, yeah. all that kind of stuff. It's really awesome, and I didn't even know we had one in our city until a few years ago when I got to tour the place. But anyway, kids go there for projects or for school trips, and what did yeah. you do? So... We were studying liquid nitrogen, so they had two volunteers go up and stick flowers in the nitrogen, then bang it on the table, and it shattered like crazy. It was super cool. Wow. And then they went back, we clapped, and then the next two volunteers came up and stuck balloons in it, and then the top of the balloon fell out and like crumbled up and got small while the other side still held. They pulled up a balloon and started shaking it, and it just blew back up. That's cool. There's now, I've no seen that trick it. done. I actually saw it recently done on The Tonight Show. No, on Late Night with James Corden. And it's because the moisture in the balloon, they're freezing. It's condensing, so the, yeah. the balloon, like, sucks together. And then when it warms back up, it expands back out, and it's a regular balloon yeah. again. So Except that's super cool. one of them actually got a hole in it. Oh, well, that would be a problem. <laughs> and time. may I add that uh, Jefferson Labs has a particle accelerator. It, particle yeah. accelerator. And then yeah, what that what does is. is they try to split the atoms that's the collider, more to like see if there's any about. smaller. Yeah, they accelerate particles and then yeah. they collide into each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so I asked a question today on Facebook because we're at Facebook.com slash Life of Dad because on Facebook... Oh. We're powered by Life of Dad. Um, I asked, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten, and have you tricked somebody into eating anything gross? AJ has eaten a caramelized maggot. If you don't believe me, there's the comment. Chris says, pork belly slices. Um, Ludafis. Uh, kind of boring because I like weird things. But the tuna casserole is the grossest. What? Tuna casserole? No. no. Rocky Mountain oysters. No. Oh, okay. Rocky Mountain oysters yeah. are not oysters. They're a part of a bowl that they cut off. Ew. And you cool. eat them like oysters. They're called Rocky Mountain oysters. The first Ew. time balls. I had... They're balls. Okay. <laughs> the first time I had my... Uh, I had 
a raw oyster uh -huh. at this place, and after that, I only had one, and yeah. I was sick. Yeah, I don't eat oysters good. because I ate yeah. a ton of them when I was about, I don't know, 11 years old, 12 years old. I ate them at an oyster roast and I ate so many and people were like, you need to slow down. I'm like, what? They're free. And they're like, that's not what we mean. And soon I was throwing up and I was looking at people. I was in the bathroom. There's a window over the toilet. So I was throwing up the oysters. And then when I stood up, I could see the people out back doing the oyster roast. It made me sick again. And it took me about four times before I realized, close the curtain, dummy. Wow. <laughs> Pig brains, Patrick said. Pig Ew. brains. Uh, Robert said, Indian greetings Indian. from South Africa. Hey, how's it going, Robert? On yeah. Indiana Jones, they ate chilled monkey brains. Chilled monkey brains. <laughs> All right. Well, we asked about this because we were given something very strange in our Halloween candy this year. I don't know why anybody would do this to a kid. Um, and when I say, when I ask the question, have you tricked somebody into eating anything gross? Well, you'll see what we mean when you see what somebody stuck in my kid's candy bucket this year. Wow. It's a box of boogers. Yes, <laughs> it's boogers. So I'm going to open this up and we are going to eat boogers on live video. Bobby said a snake. I saw some really gross answers. I think the cockroach and the king cobra blood. Bobby said octopus. Scientists Ew. say that cockroach are going to be... Um, Oop, the last to, to die before humans, or after humans. Okay, now here's the weirdest thing about the boogers. It says, oh, oh. not your regular gummy, box of boogers, tangy gummy boogies that look and feel and real. Now, the person who created these probably played with boogers if it, if it says that they look and feel real. Look, if you never felt a booger as a kid, you're a liar. Let's be honest. Yeah. All right. <laughs> James just said chicken in Iraq was the weirdest thing he's ever tasted. The grossest Woman things ever tasted. Woman and child first. All right. Let's see. We're going to. Steak that was raw. Now, just so you know, I'm going to try something. Since it's the last show of the week, I'm also going to try this, which my kids and wife have apparently all tried. Oh, there we go. It's donut flavored Tic Tacs. They're not gonna tell me how they taste or tell you until I taste it. But we're gonna see what those taste like. Now, it's right. been a while since I've tried it, so I'd like to try it too. All right, oh, everybody a grab a booger. yellow booger. And we are going to... These do not feel like... All right, are we ready? Yeah. Joe says steak that was raw. Yuck! All right, here we go. We're eating boogers. Here's the thing, it's been a while since I had a booger. I was probably three, four. <laughs> Ew. I, I mean, I do know what boogers feel like. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. That rub boogers. They've been all over me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. I'm going to say this. They are not as bad as they seem. If this is what boogers taste like, we'd all be eating them. <laughs> if this is book, yeah. what boogers taste like, we would all be eating them. I will say this to the person that stuck this on our candy box this year. You did not do a bad thing. These are not bad. <laughs> These just taste like fruity gummies. Oh, yeah. thank goodness. I have been assured that these are not good. <laughs> we'll see if that comes into focus there. Come on, Tic Tacs. Nope. Okay. All right. So, I'm also going to try these Homer Simpson donut Tic Tacs because I heard they were right. Robert said, how about Mopan Mopani worms? They're dried worms. Very tasty. I'll be trying one. All right. Well, here we go. These are supposed to be donut flavored Tic Tacs. You, you should never smell something first if you think it's going to be gross, but... These, uh, they smell like caramel. Oh, like that jackfruit episode. Make sure to oh, check that out. Check out our jackfruit episode. <laughs> Ugh. These are yucky. <laughs> you gotta swallow it. Okay. No trash can. Uh, okay. Ugh. 
That does not taste like a donut. I'd rather eat boogers than that. I think that these um, Homer Simpson Tic Tacs taste like Homer Simpson's underwear. <laughs> these are gross. I imagine that that is what his underwear tastes like. And if Homer Simpson's donuts taste oh. like this, then he does not love donuts. He loves the flavor of underwear. Those are the worst. Okay, to get the taste of these out of my mouth, I'm going to eat a booger. All right. Same. <laughs> Jason asked if we ever tried a tomato hornworm. What is that? No, I, I ate, ate 20. 20. Go ahead. Just to win $1,000 at a free Fear Factor. Fear Factor tryout in 22. 2002. Hey, Jason, I need to know more about that. I need to know um, what does a tomato hornworm look like? I need to know, did you win the Fear Factor tryout? Did you win the $1,000? And what did it taste like? I need to know all the things right now, Jason. Yes. And Jason, if you are in the U.S., let me know you're in the U.S. because you have won a prize from the Pretty Good Prize Locker because that wins, I think, out of everybody. That's pretty awesome. I was going to go with the uh, cockroach in the Cobra King blood, but... Oh, we forgot to do what's in the box. All right. What's in the box? Every Tuesday through Thursday, we give you a clue on what's in the box. On Monday, yep. we introduce our new clue. Uh, we didn't give a clue Tuesday because it was um, no school day and a lot of people were doing stuff. And the clue last time... Yesterday's was clue was blue. Blue. And now Melina will give us another clue. What's the clue? The clue is you bet. There you go. That's the clue. If you guess what's in the lunchbox, you can win a prize. Pretty, pretty good prize locker, but you should have to subscribe to oh, it. Doug. All right. So. Doug said, my son says celery is the grossest. That's pretty gross. <laughs> well, it's time to spin the wheel of weekends. All right, Melina B. Victoria Ooh. said Do you want this? Oh, John said, I got my son to eat squirrel when he was six. Said it tasted like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Spin the wheel, baby. Lunch. Free lunch. Yes. Lunch money. That means somebody lunch watching money. is going to win some lunch money. From the after school show, but you got to subscribe to win. And make sure to tune in for our other episodes. All right. Now we have the cool video of the day. Every day we have a cool video of the day. This one's going out to all you old schoolers that are around my age because we tried to eat something gross. We tried something gross. And Chad. then, oh, Chad. Chad said a tomato with half a worm in it. All right, <laughs> so because we ate something gross, we've got a gross video of the day. You can watch the very first episode. Of the Garbage Pail Kids cartoon. That's heck? right. We've got a link to it at youtube.com slash after school show. Just scroll down to the show notes at youtube.com slash after school show. And it'll say cool video of the day. And there's a link to the very first episode of the Here. Garbage Pail Kids cartoon. Richard said venison. Ven venison is yummy. Yes, venison is awesome. What venison is, is venison? dear me. Oh, oh. And uh, it's very yummy, but you do need to treat it properly when you first age it. When you first kill the animal, it needs to be aged properly. There's two different ways of doing that. You can age it on ice or you can age it um, just hanging. And lots of people argue about which way to go. And then you need to also know how to cook it properly. Because if you don't cook it properly, it has what people call a gamey taste to it. So that's, that's that. All, All right. right, I really want to hear more about that uh, that hornworm uh, deal that the guy said about Fear Factor. I forgot his name. What was his name? I forget, but send us your information on Instagram because our Instagram yeah. is at After School Show. Make sure to check it out. And to the Fear Factor contestant, I want to know, did you win? What it tasted like? What it looked like? If you're in the U.S., I want you to send me your info at info at oh his name is jason Shepard. oh there he is jason he jason. said i do live in the u.s i won the thousand dollars the tomato hornworm is the caterpillar from a five spotted hawk mouth there's so many crazy things you're saying jason it, it tasted a lot like tobacco and bug guts Whoa. 
<laughs> so we know he's tasted bug guts too. Pig tongue Chad. is actually delicious with some salt, Chad said. My parents ate it and used to think it was gross, but I, I got older and I liked it. What did Victoria <laughs> say? I tricked my best friend's sister into eating Nutella with ve Vegemite. Vegemite on toast. Vegemite's a thing from Australia. It's like fermented, um, it's not fruit. A fermented vegetable paste, kind of. Uh, like. Yeah, I don't know why I said fruit. It's called David Vegemite. says, send me your info, and I haggis and fish and chips shop on time. Send me your info. I had haggis and fish and chips on time. Um, it wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting. Um, okay. Sean said, me and my kids just made homemade turds, LOL. They look like poop, but they're made from cocoa and oatmeal. Hey, uh, Jason. It was Jason, right? Yes. Jason. Yes. Who, who went on Fear Factor, you have just won a prize from the After School Show. So give me your information. It's info at afterschoolshow.net. That's the email address. Send us your mailing info since you're in the U.S. And uh, we, oh, we're going to get you a, a prize and, uh, out because you have the coolest all thing. All right. Our last uh, text of the day, okay. David says, I've had kangaroo, emu, emu. emu. I can't even say it right. Emu, camel, and all of them were better than I expected. Wow. <laughs> David's like, I like all the meats. Just give me the meats. David, he wants the meats. Um, the meat sweats. <laughs> the meat sweats, definitely. All right, guys. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Today is the last show of this week. Hope you voted on Tuesday. Be sure to join us Monday. <laughs> I was going to keep going, but that's all right. Um, we will see you Monday with a new episode, 6.30 Eastern. That's 3.30 on the West Coast. We hope you guys have a good weekend. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Click here and subscribe to our channel. And click here if you want to watch more awesome videos. Come on. Click. I sit back and enjoy the